hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in the last uh, uh, few videos we completed our uh, multilingual text classification and uh, with this video we will start another uh, topic which is uh, multilingual token classification okay so if you haven't seen them check them out i mean uh, they are quite uh, useful in that sense okay so let's dive in so let us first look at the problem statement like what is a token and what is token classification so token is simply a sequence of characters that are grouped together as a useful semantic unit for processing so for example we have text uh, the big brown fox jumps over the dog okay so here we have uh, the is a token quick is a token brown is a token and so on so here it is important to note that word and tokens are two different things so they are sometimes used interchangeably which is not correct in my opinion so token is uh, simply a sequence of character that is not necessarily to be a word so word is something that is in the vocabulary of that particular language whereas a token is simply a sequence of characters that is used for processing uh, uh, that is used in processing by the computer okay so um, i mean word is always a token but uh, other way around is not always true we will see with uh, examples uh, in uh, next slide but uh, just to be clear like they are kind of a bit different and token classification is simply uh, assigning a label to each and every token in a given sequence of tokens okay for example we here we have a uh, uh, text the quick brown fox jumps over the leggy dog and then we have uh, labels like da is assigned o quick is assigned o brown is assigned o and fox is assigned animal okay so this is kind of task that we will be uh, solving in that particular sense like we will be trying to uh, automatically annotate uh, given the text and we will be assigning a label to each and every token okay so um so uh, from language models what we get is uh, not word em embeddings okay we get is token embeddings which are actually a sentence piece or word piece okay or maybe uh, they are also known as subwords so let us see like what are those so for example here you can see the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and here fox is animal dog is animal and then when we run the tokenizer like bird tokenizer which is actually a um, word piece tokenizer so we will get something like uh, the quick brown fox so f fox is split into f and then ox and then jump uh, jumps also split into jump and s so leggy is also split into l a and uh, g y okay and also uh, i mean what we get from the pre trained language model is simply like this sentence piece word embeddings okay so for example if we count we will have like 13 subwords in this uh, um, tokenized uh, sequence whereas we have like uh, um, um, 10 uh, words are 10 true words in the actual input text okay so from uh, pre-trained language models what we will get is 13 cross 768 subword embeddings whereas the true word embedding should be 10 cross 768 okay and uh, that's where it uh, uh, becomes a little challenging to use uh, pre trained language models for token uh, classification okay because for example if we have a uh, input which is uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and labels we will have like 10 labels whereas when we uh, run it through the language model uh, we will get like 13 uh, uh, 13 cross uh, 768 subword embeddings so we will see like uh, uh, how we can uh, um, handle that part uh, in this series of videos okay so there are two possible ways uh, to use uh, subwords uh, for token classification okay and subwords could be a bpe word piece or sentence piece probably we will have a separate video on each like uh, how they works or what are those 
but in this video we won't go in depth in that part but uh, you can think of like they are used to um convert the words into subwords okay so it is like simply uh, for example you have word jumps so it is split into like uh, jump and uh, has as s okay so let us see like uh, so um, in literature you will find two possible ways to use subword embeddings for token classification the first one is we convert subword embeddings to word embeddings or true word embeddings so for example if we have uh, um the input the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog and the labels we have that we have seen in the last slide so the tokenized uh, text would be the quick brown uh, f ox jumps over the lazy dog okay so here we have like uh, um three extra tokens okay so uh, i mean the simplest uh, way of doing it like we simply take the first subword embedding uh, for the whole uh, word itself okay and that's what we'll get so at the end uh, we will get something like uh, 10 cross 768 embedding for this particular segment okay so that's uh, the first approach uh, we simply update the embedding itself what we get from the uh, pre-trained language model in the second approach what we do is we simply um update the labels so where there is a split we simply uh, repeat the same label for the uh, subword token okay so in that sense uh, it will uh, accommodate the accommodate all the uh, subwords that we get from the uh, tokenized text okay okay but uh, for our purpose we will use the first approach like we will convert the subword embeddings uh, to true words embedding and then use them uh, for our classification task so in the last slide we have seen like uh, we were selecting the first subword embedding for the for embedding for that particular uh, token okay or for that particular word uh, so there are three uh, ways that we can do it so i mean there are many that you can look at literature but most commonly used techniques are so we simply uh, take the first uh, subword embedding or the last subword embedding or you simply run a mean of all subword embeddings to uh, get the uh, embedding okay so um uh, for example if we have a word lazy and then there was a split like lay and zy so uh, the possible options we have is like simply we can uh, take uh, embedding for lay or we can simply take embedding of uh, gy uh, so this uh, will represent the uh, embedding for lazy okay but uh, i think it's 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 uh, better to use uh, the last one which is we simply average the embeddings of both la and uh, gy uh, for the word lazy okay so this is, we will be uh, using uh, I mean, we will implement uh, these three and we can switch in between and see like uh, we, which one is uh, working better for us. And uh, we will see like uh, probably the mean of subword embeddings works uh, optimal uh, for token classification. Okay. And in implementation, we will divide it into five sections. So, first will be like we will convert subword embeddings to true word embeddings and then we will create a toy model. For token classification and then we will train the model on real data using a stochastic gradient descent and then we will uh, implement our batch gradient descent algorithm and then finally we will evaluate our model for geo sort multilingual transfer so in this uh, video we will uh, look at uh, like how we can get uh, token embeddings from sentence transformers and uh, in the next video we will start uh, implementing the actual stuff that we have seen here okay so let us go back to our id and then look at some examples so here uh, i have taken example that we have given in uh, our slides as well first let us uh, look at the tokenizer part okay so we can get the tokenizer of the 
सेंटेंस ट्रांसफॉर्मर सिंपली इनकोडर डॉट टोकेनाइजर ओके दिस विल गिव अस द टोकेनाइजर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉडल ओके एंड देन वी कैन चेक इट लाइक प्रिंट टाइप टोकेनाइजर ओके let us run and see what tokenizer it is being used so it will be simply bird tokenizer from uh, transformers library which is coming from hugging face so let us run and see it do you see it is a distill bird tokenizer fast okay now let us run uh, the tokenizer uh, on this uh, simple tag okay and see that what we get as output so i already ran it so we will get something like this that we already have seen in our uh, slides so let us print tokenizer dot tokenize and we can simply say sentence is zero okay let us run and let us also print the tokenized text so that we can compare them tokenized okay so this should be exactly same let us run and see it you see this is exactly same that we have seen in our uh, slides okay okay so now let us look at like how we can get um, token embeddings from a sentence transform model so we will simply use the encode method and uh, uh, simply we will uh, change the output value argument okay let us see like uh, how we can get it so let us first type embeddings is equal to encoder dot encode so let us uh, look at the arguments of encode method okay so you can see here it accepts uh, sentences which is simply a single string or list of a string and then uh, it uh, has best size and this is what we need to change so by default it is sentence embedding and what we need is a uh, token embeddings so simply we will change this and we will get uh, token embeddings instead of uh, sentence embedding okay so let us uh, change that so let us say sentences and then we have output value is equal to token embeddings okay and uh, that's it this will give us the uh, token embeddings also um uh bird tokenizer aids uh, uh cls uh token in the beginning as well as separator token at the end so in this example we have 13 tokens but uh, at the output we will get uh, like 15 cross 768 as a um token embeddings okay let us print it and see so we can simply say embeddings dot save so as a it by default it will give us numpy so we will use safe method to get the size of embedding so let us run and see it so you see it gives us like uh, one segment we have and then 15 tokens and 768 is the size of the uh, model okay so in this video we will stop here in the next video we will learn like how we can convert these sub word embedding to actual true word embeddings and then we can use those to uh, train a simple uh, mlp to do the token classification for us okay so thanks for watching bye for now take care see you in the next